My name is Ricardo Abreu. I'm former uh, CPO for a fintech blockchain company and former program director for Accenture Interactive, the design and innovation arm. Oh, nice question. So for me, I believe that regulations and government scrutiny will be one. And second, most likely big players, big corporations like uh, Apple, Facebook, um, Amazon um, coming for, for uh, new products and services and actually to take a little bit of the place that banking oc occupies right now in the market. Mostly, the demand in fintech right now is for product roles and technology roles. I myself am a product and delivery person, so I would say that, obviously. But uh, service designers, not only visual designers, or, uh, but service designers, people that are able to connect the dots, people that are able to follow an approach and the methodology to create new services, but also uh, blockchain development uh, technologies and expertise, people that have the latest uh, access and the experience with SDKs, APIs, um, they are in high demand. I will say that there's a skill shortage of uh, business designers. It's something that is disappearing and actually very good product designers and, and development people. Why? Because they are all in being employed with very good salaries by the big corporations and they don't want to move. And some of them, they are actually leaving uh, UK, going back to their own countries that had recovered from financial crisis and they, are, they, fear, they fear the uncertainty of Brexit as well. Well, mainly three. From my past months uh, speaking with private investors, uh, other leadership and uh, investment companies, I, I would say that uh, Israel, it's a boiling right now in terms of investments and uh, there will be new startups on unicorns coming from Israel. Um, I believe that the call to action from uh, China's president to invest in blockchain will put uh, a lot of attention in companies coming from uh, Singapore and uh, Hong Kong and obviously London because London in terms of Europe is the center of fintech and innovation. Anything that regards to the new technologies, I will say artificial intelligence, uh, data, data will be the currency of the future, and uh, most as well um, service design. Once again, having designers that are able to connect the trends and the steel insights from the industry, um, that, that is where I feel that will be the highest demand. Be ready to challenge. Uh, go with a firm opinion. Go with knowledge about the industry, the players, the landscape. Um, have a firm position about where you see that industry going through. And uh, know the, obviously know the, the, the products and services of the company that you're applying. But uh, go ready to challenge them. Go ready to connect the dots and open new, new lines of thought that they might never thought about it and challenge them. Um, because you know that's what we need people that are able to challenge us and contribute in a different way wow <laughs> um, two things uh, one is most uh, mostly an advice and second is something that I'll probably have fixed it if I could go back in time uh, use I will say to anyone that is currently at university to use the time well to try and fail. It's fine to try and, and fail. It's fine to explore, create a startup, to create a new product. It's fine to, to have a gap year. It's fine to finish university and start one or two years trying to create your own startup, exploring a concept before going for big banking or fintech or technology corporations. Uh, so that's my advice. Use that time very well um to explore new concepts your own ideas to invest in your in your own ideas today's in today's is easier to get investment uh than a few years ago so if you might you might have a unicorn idea there a billion dollar idea and if you do nothing then you won't be able to
to be a millionaire. So I have many ideas in the past. I was never actually, I never followed uh, through with some of them and they are still applicable these days. The second is um, kind of uh, an advice. I would say that look for mentors and in different industries. Um, I still have mentors from my university time, Professor Emmanuel Perez, from my previous jobs, Antonio Castro, and uh, even from my previous Accenture job, with, uh, that is an amazing woman, Patty Allerman. These are people that I connect with them often, almost monthly, for an early breakfast. It's fine and it's okay to connect with them, looking for insights in the, what's happening in the industry, uh, looking for advice. So looking for mentorships and try, uh, take the risk at the right time. Because once you grow up, you get a new set of responsibilities and you can't go, you can't go back, it's difficult. Uh, I think that is connected to the first answer you asked me. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of um, government scrutiny coming. I see that regulation will affect the way business is conducted. And mostly, I actually think that Facebook Libra, for example, just using Facebook Libra, they, they will not give up. They will actually pursue their intent. And, they, and it's a good intent. It's a, a push for innovation. So I think they will come and disrupt uh, not only the fintech industry, but, only, but also the banking. Uh, and that is an amazing time uh, to be alive and, exp and, and use those services. Um, so for me, that is something that will happen. Obviously, I also see banks adopting to the market changes. And I can't believe that in a near future, for example, banks will not hold my cryptocurrencies the same way that they hold my fiat money. So they will adapt and uh, we're going to see banks wanting to be like fintech uh, companies and we're going to see fintech companies wanting to be as big as banks. So that's a synergy and a relationship that, we, that I'll foresee in the, for the near future.